To really understand what's happening with the Iraqi dinar, we need to recognize that there's more than one piece to this puzzle. Some analysts are only focusing on half of the picture, which is misleading. The Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, has hinted at removing three zeros from the currency, but many misunderstand what this truly means. It's not just a matter of swapping out old banknotes for smaller ones or making everything digital. If the CBI simply removed three zeros without adjusting the nominal exchange rate and increasing the purchasing power of the dinar, there wouldn't be a meaningful change in the economy. For example, if you take 25,000 dinars, remove three zeros, and call it 25 dinars, but the rate stays the same, nothing really improves for the average Iraqi citizen. That's why people are talking about a rate change, or what some might call a revaluation, RV. When we talk about purchasing power, we're referring to the ability of the dinar to buy goods and services both in Iraq and internationally. If the CBI wants to truly help the Iraqi economy, it has to do more than just change the appearance of the currency. It must enhance its value. This is why the end goal, in many people's opinions, is not just an RV, but a reinstatement of the dinar to a higher international standing, similar to where it was before sanctions and wars caused its value to plummet. Some commentators focus solely on the local implications of removing the zeros. They think this move only applies to Iraqis, and from their perspective, it's simply about taking the larger denominations of dinar out of circulation and replacing them with smaller bills or digital payments. That might make things a little more convenient for transactions within Iraq, but it doesn't address the larger issue of how the dinar interacts with global markets. What's often overlooked is that while Iraqis might see the removal of zeros as a domestic shift, the real impact of such a move hinges on what happens to the dinar internationally. The value of the dinar in foreign markets would be influenced by how the CBI manages its currency policies. Will they maintain a peg to the US dollar? Or will they float the dinar and let its value be determined by market forces? This is where the conversation gets interesting. Some people talk about a partial peg, which means the CBI could let the dinar move somewhat independently, but still control it to a degree. But there's another theory that the CBI is preparing for a pure float, meaning the currency's value would be entirely dictated by the open marketing. This is why the article we're discussing only tells part of the story. It's likely aimed at an Iraqi audience, explaining what removing the zeros means for them on a practical level smaller bills, easier transactions, and digital payment options. But to the rest of the world, and to anyone looking at the broader picture, this is just one step in a much larger process that could involve revaluing the dinar, floating it on international markets, and ultimately reinstating its position as a strong currency. In my opinion, the CBI's plan is far more complex than just introducing new bills. They're setting the stage for a stronger dinar, not just in Iraq, but globally. Removing the zeros is part of that strategy, but it's not the whole story. To see the full picture, we have to consider what happens when the dinar starts trading freely on the international stage. And that's where the real transformation could occur.